Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, good morning My name is Askia Ibadina I was student of communication from Islamic University of Bandung or UNISBA So today, I would like to deliver thanks for the time that given to me to present my research about COVID-19 as the title is Sterilization Glove Design as the wearable device to break the COVID-19 infection chain So, as we know that the COVID-19 is highly infection virus that founded in Wuhan, China. And nowadays, already spread all over the world, including our nation, Indonesia. According the data that we got from Satgas Penanganan COVID, from July 2020, there are a rapid spread growth of COVID-19 as there are a thousand cases per day. So to prevent the infection, we have to know how this virus spread. According to the World Health Organization, this virus spread from the droplet format and exposed object. For the format and exposed object, that's why the reason we have to implement the health protocol like social distancing, wearing masks, washing hands frequently. But we never know that maybe we already spread the virus through the exposed object. As for example, money. Even a banknotes or coins. This item circulated actively every day from one hand to another hand, from one person to another person, from one pocket to another pocket. The question is which person have the money before? We didn't know. So, there's a phenomenon and studies about these matters. The first, there is a pregnant woman from Central Java that known being positive for COVID-19. Even she rarely going outside to do some activities. Why this is happening? This happened just because she got the money change that exposed by a COVID-19 virus that she got from the mobile vegetable vendors. And then, according to study in New York at 2017, they found the DNA of pets, the track of the drug, the bacteria and viruses from the banknotes. And then Murgiwa, an immunology expert from George Washington University, recommend using gloves and washing hands frequently for people who handle money for their work. So these are evidence that bacteria and viruses can stick to banknotes. So what happening then? The fears of COVID spread have restricted cash transaction in a number of countries. They prohibit the cash transaction. As we can see, in the Bank of Korea, they burn the part of the cash. 
And in Chinese government, they recommend using a non-cash transaction. Not only Chinese government, maybe it already followed by other country. Like in our country, maybe we can see so many market that already implement the non-cash transaction, right? And then in a lot of parties, the cash transaction not allow. As for in Indonesia, Bank of Indonesia quarantine, sterilize, and circulating new money frequently. Even the World Health Organization urge the public to use non-cash transaction to prevent the infection. But we can see in this picture, in this picture, we can see that a cash transaction still used. Even in the big city, in the bank, in the mall, in the market, in the street vendors, everyone still use cash transaction. Then what happened in the small city that the technology has not really developed there? A hundred percent, they still use a cash transaction. So it means the non-cash transaction is still not optimal to implement in our country, Indonesia. So we are giving a really hard talk how to prevent this matter, how to prevent the COVID-19 spread through the user experiment side. Then we collaborate with academic and expert to get a solution. That's why this research are made. So the research purpose are to break the chain of COVID-19 virus spread throughout the everyday product. And then second, as a reference for the similar research, also the development of science in the face of the future pandemic. So this product also have a concept. We want to make a product that not only protect the user, but also can clear or at least minimize the possibility of COVID-19 infection through the help of technology assistance. That we break to the four concepts. The first is a compact. For the needs of the protect in daily activities, this product must be compact, easy to bring anywhere and everywhere. And the second is comfort. For the long-term use, we make sure that this product will give the comfort for the user. We aim to achieve the natural feels. And the third, the main value is to protect. How can this product protect the user from the exposed object or from any other variable that COVID-19 can spread? And the fourth is to attack. With the help of technology assistance, this product will sterilize so it will minimize the chains of COVID-19 spread. To end this goal, we have several tests, like a material test. Like we can see in the picture, there are gloves with many kinds of materials like suit, skin, latex, nitrile, spandex, scuba, etc. And we try to get the best material to make the gloves so there is a durability test like we can see in the picture we try to turn the material with the soft object then the flexibility test that how the material will close the natural feel so people still get the sensoric feel and very comfortful and then the water resistant test 
because as we know that the COVID-19 commonly from the fluid things like a droplet and formates. Okay, next, these are the components that inside the product. As we can see, the gloss made from the scuba material because it's a very comfort, breathable, the heat will circulate it, but still it resists the fluid. And in the palm, in the palm, there is nitrile layer to make the product still durable and give more resist to the fluid. And then, as we can see in the each of finger and in palms area, we take the ultraviolet, this technology that will sterilize the exposed object that we hold. And then there is a micro switch here to switch on and switch off the light. And for the energy, we use the micro USB rechargeable battery. And all of plasmine that we implement in this product are considering by anthropometric studies. Okay, so these are the life cycle product or how to use this product. For the first, you can wear the product then switch on to turn on the lamp the UV light will start sterilize the object that we hold then we can switch off the light and when the UV light off it means the sterilization are stop and then we can on with the product and this is the final product design. You make the aesthetically look and the green component here will inform you how the energy, how the battery energy self less. So in conclusion, we hope this research will help and be useful for resolve the COVID-19 problem, especially to minimize the COVID-19 infection spread from the exposed object like banknotes or coins and other surfaces. Because like we already know that in Indonesia, the non cash transaction still not implement very optimal. And the last, I will show you the video of the gloves prototype. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.